Well, hello, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and you are gonna love today's vlog. If you were wondering why Merch5 and I came up with a shirt, A Trip to the Moon, based, um, it's an old silent movie that I love. It's because right here, right behind me, they have a special effects of film museum, and they have on their logo, it's part of A Trip to the Moon. So I'm hoping that they have some of those uh, props and things like that in there. So let's go check it out. Right here in Prague, Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, there it is. Carol Zeman Museum. And right there on their logo has that famous uh, blimp and basket scene. Now this is hands down one of my all-time favorite movies. Not just silent movies, but all-time favorite movies. And I found out about it when I was in high school because the Smashing Pumpkins made a music video for their song Tonight Tonight, and they based it off of this A Trip to the Moon. So I've just kind of been obsessed with it most of my life since I saw that. And uh, when I found out this was here, I said there's no way we're coming and not checking this out. Now right here on their sign, it says, recommended by Tim Burton and Terry Gilliam. <laughs> Can't get much better than those two. And as we walk into the courtyard, check it out. Put yourself in the movie. Look at that, that is awesome. <laughs> Put yourself in the scene. And it's, it's very possible that's what most of this is gonna be. A lot of interactive stuff where you're supposed to put yourself inside the scene because that's how they did it back then. Look at this. So we can actually go behind there. Oh, check that out. Oh, that is awesome. Well, we just had a casualty. I just tore the entire inside of my pants wide open. <sighs> Dude, I did not want to go pant shopping in Czechoslovakia, but I guess I'm gonna have to. All right, let's do this. Look, they're demonstrating how they do stop motion. There's one of the figures from it. Now they told me when I bought my ticket that every room is dedicated to a different movie. Now here he is using Mr. Prokork, the tales of Mr. Prokork, right there. And then he's also right here. And there are the original figures, the original puppets. How cool is that? This may inspire you to go look up some of these movies. Now they said the museum is totally interactive. They said the only thing they ask you to not do, um, you can film, you can photograph everything, just don't touch the costumes because the costumes are original from the movie. So there you can see that costume right there. And then here's this guy wearing it. And this was from a work called The Fabulous World of Jules Verne. Now here's a picture showing the stage setup and how they would have filmed a lot of these movies. Tricks behind the trade. And look at that woolly mammoth set right there. It's here. Actually right there. Now this is one of Zeman's original storyboards that he would use to make his films. You can see he's got the picture pasted in there as well as a lot of the text. It's interesting because now they do them kind of like cartoons usually when they make storyboards, kind of drawn out. This he was kind of pasting them in there. Now here's the dinosaur egg from Dinosaur's Egg. And it says, uh, Egg of Hadrosaurid. And here's an example of how they would have animated those kind of things. And that guy right there, he's on display right here. Make the prehistoric dragonfly move its wings. Nothing happened. Now it did. Now check this out. Now, a trip to the moon was uh, George Milas. 
this is the same exact style, the same everything that he did. I just, I love this. Look at that. Now this says, welcome to the submarine engine room. Turn the wheel to set the motor in motion. Turn it gently, otherwise the pistons of the motor will jam and Count Diaritigus <laughs> submarine will get you. And that's the submarine engine we were just pumping. Now let's go look here. God, I love this museum. This place is so cool. Now check this out. This is from the, uh, the world of Jules Verne as well. And this was how they created his underworld. Now there's a thing, a little message up here that says to push the button and watch the ground light up. So there it is. And that is the original prop right there from the movie right down here. There it is. And there he is. He's got it. And this guy over here is in the movie as well. Oh, check that out. I wish I could get on there, and I probably could, but I, I've already ripped my pants. I don't really want to get on anything else. <laughs> check that out, though. Cool backdrop. It's got a little crank off to the side. Let me see what it does. So when you turn this, like so, it actually makes the backdrop move. Dive into underwater music. Try on the diving helmet to hear music inspired by the underwater world of Carl Zeman. Huh. So I guess you can just stick your head up under there. Now let's enter this room. So it's got where you're supposed to put your feet. And uh, I don't know, let's try it. Oh, here's some of the costumes. The fabulous Baron Munchausen. So that dress right there is right over here. It's right there. Like I said, they said these are original costumes. And then look, right over there, there's a trip to the moon. So you just can't have a special effects museum in my opinion without having this mentioned. Now I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to uh, make this scenario work. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to look like, but we'll find out. I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to make it work, and then I realized you can't make it work by using a tripod. Because what you're trying to do is make it look like that, like you're riding the horse. And so what they want you to do is to straddle the horse and put your you know, like knees or whatever on the, the black pad right there. And then whoever takes the picture should be able to match it up like that and it looks like you're flying a horse. However, you can't take that photo from the ground, so you got the gist. Let's move on. Now here they're showing how they would make perspective special effects. And 
so that's what they've done here in the museum. These are costumes from Off on a Comet. Now here's some more costumes and props and they said that Carl died in 1989. So he was self-taught and they said that most of the people that worked in his studio had no film experience at all. So they all kind of learned on the job the same way he did. I got some of these old props. I was hoping they would have some stuff from um, a trip to the moon, but it doesn't look like they do. I didn't realize this was primarily a Carl Zeman Museum online. They called it the Special Effects Museum, so I was kind of hoping they would have various things, but this was great nonetheless. Nonetheless, with some of the old camera. And then these were clothes for different movies different extras and things like that that he did. And here's some footage from On the Comet. Well, pretty cool museum. You never know what you're gonna get when you go to any museum. Sometimes it'll just be old artifacts and it'll be memorabilia and things like that. But this one was really cool because it was very interactive. It not only showed you how they did the tricks, but it also allowed you to put yourself in those same scenes. So I really dug this place. This was cool and totally worth you coming out and checking out if you're in town. Now let's see what's in the gift shop. Some cool bags. Pretty awesome shirts. Now check this out. This is kind of how Max Sennett used to do his studios. Um, on a larger scale, he would do like a full-size carousel type deal like this, where the actors would be um, in the center and they would actually make all the things around them move. So it looked like it was moving. So watch the mirror here and you can see. This was kind of what Max Sennett used to do. All right, I'm buying some of you guys some postcards. They had some good selections, so could be some good ones going out this month. And I think I might buy one of these documentaries on Carl. So as I was buying all my souvenirs, he said, do you want to take a look at the Charles Bridge? I said, sure. And then he like walked me right out to the river, right out to the water. Check that out. And right over here is that guy we saw the other day, that weird looking figure. So just as I thought we were done, I noticed there's another room and he said, oh yeah, it's a green screen. So what you can do is you can pick your scene that you want to be in here, film your thing and then have it emailed to you. So let's pick that one. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And it's over. Just, just seven seconds long. Well, my friends, I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. I had a blast here, and if you're ever in Prague, you should definitely check out this museum.
Until tomorrow, have a great day everyone. We'll see you all then. Goodbye.